Hey guys, welcome back. Today I saw a Reddit post, which is a new interview with Cirilla. It was originally in Russian, and someone on Reddit just translated into English. Like I think there are some very interesting and exciting new changes that will come to the game soon. So I decided to maybe just go through these changes with you guys and share with you guys some of my thoughts. Uh, this is not going to be live reaction, but it's gonna be a fun one anyway. So let's get into it. All right, so here it is, the Reddit post. So Sarela went on a Russian content creator's channel and had an interview. Here uh, is the key points taken by the author. So first is plan for more new late game PvE content, both harder content for existing things, but also brand new stuff. Something new before end of the year. So, all right, maybe I can give you guys some leak, but I think it's either new Doom, Doom Tower bosses or a new Doom Tower difficulty. Like, don't quote my word. That's my speculation, okay? So, number two, torrent changes, animation cancellation options, brewing faster, reality filter, change to scoring, what's displayed, no ETA. Like, this is absolutely needed. And I think this this thing here should be released when game first came out. But it's not too late, so add this, please. Because right now, uh, feeding my champions brew just taking me too long. Alright, so next, number three, some of the Battle Pass 2 before the, okay, some form of Battle Pass 2 before end of the year. Okay, so is that similar to one? I think, obviously the price is going to be similar, that's for sure. But one thing I can tell you guys for sure is the value is not going to be similar. I think the only reason that they decide to cancel Battle Pass is because season one has such a great value like yeah, season one actually had insane value i remember you can get like so many six star legendary speed set like do you know how much they sell this speed set in this game like i just did a video on that so i remember they they give you like two or three six star legendary speed set from the battle pass and a lot of six star speed glyph and the legendary and the void legendary champion Think about that. So one thing I'm no, I know for sure is value is not gonna be similar. It's not gonna be even close to the to the season one. So number four is no plan for in-game mercy counter. This is whatever. I I don't really care about this. So number five is new Doom Tower fragment champion coming for secret rooms immediately after Gomlock. So I think this patch is gonna come very soon, and I'm ninety eight point five percent sure there will be new Doom Tower bosses coming to the game. All right, number six, max HP, max HP champion will find a new niche with new content. Well, it's good to have. It's so nice of Playroom. Okay, number seven, new rebalance patch in start of autumn. So, okay, that's good to have. And I do believe there are a lot of champions that needs a rebalance in this game. So maybe I will do a video just um, just show you, just kind of talk about what champion they should buff, and maybe I will send that video to Playroom. I think I could list like 20 champions at least. So, number eight, nothing for people who maxed Great Hall. <laughs> Apparently, only 518 people has done it so far. So, this is kind of sad for me because let me show you guys this. This is my Great Hall. <laughs> Look at the gold medals. I probably won't be able to spend it until next year so it's a little bit unfortunate for me and the next the expansion of inbox size zoom okay so i want to give a little bit more leak to my viewers okay don't tell it to other don't tell it to someone that doesn't watch my channel so not just inbox will have a hundred more slots we will also have a hundred more champion slots quote this word okay so number 10 current priority is clan system changes this is whatever number 11 no plan for introduce clan intra clan duels like i really hope there is a system which you can just click a clan mate and just test their arena team because i don't really want to push to top of platinum and spend like 100 gems to find someone in my clan to test their defense so but I understand why they are not doing it. Like imagine how much money they will lose for doing it. Because right now all these top players, they need to spend gems to push to top platinum and spend gems to, to click refresh button to find the right people. So, all right, number 12, 
fixed Neo confirmed in rebalance list. Like fixed Neo, of course she needs to be on this list. She is probably top three worst champion in this game. So number thirteen won't be adding new CB difficulty. Hydra will be a separate game mode that requires participation of entire clan. That's good to have, and I hope this will come out this year. Okay. So number fourteen. Our current main priorities are Hydra and Clan versus Clan PvP. Like, for, uh, if they say the current main priorities are Hydra, I believe it. But I highly doubt it for Clan versus Clan PvP. Like, I don't know how they are going to implement it. So, number 15, no plans for infinite multi battle, but they will take improvement to raid card. Okay, so I've read it before. Uh, let's just read 15 and 16 together, okay? No plans for 4x speed. But it will work on more future to save time. Soon there will be an event where you can opt to spend twice an energy on the run and get twice a reward. So if you read 15 and 16 together, it kind of make more sense now, right? Because they talked about they're gonna make improvements to raid card. So my speculation is uh, everyone in this game will have a limit number of runs where you can spend double of energy to get double reward but if you buy raid card you will get more same as multi battle i think that's 95.6 percent correct this is my prediction okay all right for number 17 uh, we'll be making improvements to the market also we'll be adding more kinds of shop in different game areas particularly some form of clan shop soon that's good to have and it's needed so number 18, uh, no plans to add Void Shards and Sacred Shards to the market or accessories. Like, of course, why do you even ask that? Of course they're not going to put Void or Sacred Shards to the market. So number 19, we're looking to rebalance Faction War, crafting material drops. This is absolutely needed. And I believe like a couple months ago, someone already asked Plarium about this thing. And I remember a couple months ago, Plarium's answer was a clear no. They are not going to do anything about it. But I'm glad they're they're trying to do it now so number 20 will make player want to stay in their clan get certain clan achievement for unique resources so maybe i can give player a, a advice or suggestion about how to make players stay in their clan uh, the suggestion is remove cvc that's how simple it is so for number one clan versus clan pvp is coming and will be big not coming until 2022 all right that makes sense uh, if they're saying that this system is not coming this year, just take it as it doesn't exist. Simple as that. All right, so that's it. All right, guys, if you guys are still staying with me on this video, I want to also share with you guys something that I just learned today. Uh, I learned it from my clan Discord. It's basically about Ursuga and Guardian set. So Ursuga has a passive which she will take damage from allies and guardian set has similar um similar mechanic right where we'll absorb 10 percent of damage dealt to ally champions so i just learned today it might be a little bit crazy it might sound a little bit crazy so um how this 10 percent damage taken is calculated is based on her crit damage so it's not based on enemy champions nuker's crit damage so for example if my tronda uh, use a skill on the enemy team and enemy team has a Ursuga It will take my Tronus attack into account Then calculate it by Ursuga's crit damage. I know it sounds weird. It's definitely a, it's definitely a bug in terms of coding But it, it's proven to be true. So I know it sounds very weird and right now my entire clan uh, who has Ursuga who has this champion are adjusting her gear so basically making her crit damage as low as possible but i already have the great hall max out so it's gonna already have plus 25 crit damage and i have um, a reaction amulet that has six percent crit damage and yeah that's the lowest i can go so i know it sounds weird not just ursuga it, it works on any champion that has guardian set so this 10 percent is calculated based on this champion's crit damage so my advice is to get your champion that has a guardian set on to have the lowest crit damage as low as possible, okay? Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited for the 
<clears throat> new rebalance patch. So maybe I'll make a video talking about the worst champion, worst legendary champion in this game. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.